Why hello there friends. We are here for our next installment of why that stupid scale is a liar. And so today we're going to talk about how to take progress pictures. And if you were like, no, <laughs> hear me out. I have some tips and tricks for us. Stay tuned. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jamie. This channel is all about some tips and tricks on our fitness journey and also some hip hop cardio and some strength training. But really what this is about is bringing us together as a community of some real women trying to make some stickable changes so that we have a happy and healthy body without any crazy diets and crazy workouts and crazy lifestyle changes. <laughs> if you're like, this is the channel for me, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up for this video. And remember, sharing is caring. Anyways, back on with the show. So for today, we're gonna to talk about how to take a progress picture. And here's the thing I want everybody to remember. Progress pictures are for you only. You only share if you wanna share. So these are for you to be able to see the progress that you're making because a lot of times the scale doesn't tell us and sometimes measurements don't always tell us, but visually when you can see that before and after picture and you're gonna be like, oh my goodness, look at all those changes. It's a great motivator. So a couple of tips and tricks that we're going to go over today just on how you can do a progress picture and make it easy. All right. So tip number one is finding the best location. So what you want to think about is a location that you can repeat your pictures in. So a private area, not an area that when you went to go take your next level of progress pictures in, there's like all these people around and you're like, okay, I need to take my progress pictures. So find a place that's a little bit private. For me, I like to find a room. I also like to find, hold on a solid background <laughs> you want to be able just to take your picture and be able to see just you you also want to think about the lighting in the room so if you've got like a great big window so in this room i have a great big window what i do is i open up the blinds all the way up so all that natural light comes in sometimes when you take your pictures especially if you're trying to take them first thing in the morning you may need to add some light into the room or if you're good wait until you can get some natural light so i'm going to take you with me to where i take my pictures hang tight we're moving Ooh. Over a cat toy. Okay, so this is where I like to take my progress pictures. At least now. I used to take them down in the office and it was like Grand Central Station. So I found myself a private area that has a nice background that's not busy so that I can take my pictures. All right, on to tip two. So tip number two, you really want to think about taking your pictures at the same time of the day. Because I don't know about you guys, but first thing in the morning is usually when I am at my what I would call my leanest. And that's just because I, don't, I haven't started with all my water and I haven't started with all my food. Just naturally, you're a little bit leaner first thing in the morning. But if that's not what you want to do, you can always wait until the afternoon. But think about consistently doing the same pictures at the same time. Tip number three, stop trying to hide your bad spots. Now listen, first off, you don't have any bad spots, but here's the other thing. If you do a progress picture where you're like, <laughs> what did that do for you? No, this is a picture for you to be able to look at your progress. So girl, let it out. So tip number four, let's, th this is probably the biggest thing. Let's talk about what to wear because if you come and get ready to do your progress picture and you're in a hoodie and sweatpants, Remember, these pictures are for you only. So what you wanna think about is you wanna wear some tight fitted clothes. I suggest a sports bra and some exercise pants or some exercise shorts. Here's the thing, when you start taking these progress pictures and you start seeing your transformation, you're gonna to wanna to share. Did you say no? I'm, mark my words, you're gonna to wanna to share. So don't do your progress pictures in your underwear. <laughs> Wear something that if you wanted to share your progress with someone else, that you'd be like, not standing in your underwear, okay? So tip number five, we're going to talk about poses. So with this, I know we want to do the whole little cute poses and everything, but that's not what this is about. So we're going to do four very specific poses. We're going to do a front, a back, and then a side, and a side. That's it. Four poses. Now, are you like, how in the world am I supposed to be able to take these progress pictures by myself. I got you. So tip number six, on your phone, you have two different options that you can do and I will tell you both, but I'll tell you which one that I prefer. Number one, on your phone, if you go to the camera setting, everybody has the ability to do a time mm, delay, I guess that's the word that I will say, where you can set it so that it'll take a picture at three seconds or seven seconds 
or 10 seconds, I think that's one option. So you can set your phone up on that to take that delay picture. You can get into your pose and then let it snap. That is one option. The second option, and this is the one that I actually prefer more than anything else, is to set my phone on video mode and then put it up where I can see my whole body and then I do my four turns very slowly while the video is going. And if you're like, okay, well that's great, now I have a video, how do I get progress pictures? I'm gonna show you how to do that also. And remember back to one of our previous tips, you do wanna kinda of remember what you did. So make sure you kinda of have the same setup, same time of day, and remember how you did your poses. Some people even like to wear the same outfit. So if you can kinda of have like, this is my progress picture outfit, bring it on. You gotta remember your progress pictures are just your starting point. And that is where you're gonna see your transformation over time. All right, so let me show you how I do my pictures. Hang so first things first, what I do, grab my phone, I go over into my camera settings and I set it on video. And then I'm going to hit play once I get it into position that I want. So since I'm gonna take my pictures up against the closet, what I do is I'm just gonna set it right over there on the table. Make sure you reverse it. <laughs> So what you can see is, let me take you with me, see if you can see that, is that I'm able to set my camera up so that I can see exactly what my view is going to be, that when I hit play, I've got the background that I want. Okay, let's see if I can do this on my camera and on my phone at the same time. This will be interesting, hang tight. Okay, so I'm gonna go hit play and then I'm gonna go over here and do my views. My first view, I stand with my arms I gotta get in the view of the camera. I stand with my arms right on. I do a nice release of this. I'm not <laughs> sucking it in. Just let it go. Stand here for just a couple seconds so that I can get my first picture. Second picture, I like to do the side. I open up my arms. Again, stay here for a couple of seconds so that I can get the full view. Then I go to the rear. Again, I like to put my arms right here on my waist. If my hair is down, I will pull my hair out of the way so that I can see what my back has got going on. And then in my last view, I just turn and again, open up the arms. Okay, I'm gonna turn off my video. I'm now gonna take us down to my computer so that I can show you what I do on my phone. Because what I like to do is crop these, or first off, I like to make them into pictures, and then I like to crop them. And then I'll show you the app that I use to actually put the picture side by side so you can do some transformational pictures. Okay guys, I have moved over to my phone. I wanna show you real quick what I do with this. I head over to the video and I just get to this part on the video that I want and then do a screen capture. Different for each phone. On my phone, I just hit the buttons on each side of it, captures a quick picture. I did that for each of the four views. Let's see, I was talking to you guys here. <laughs> there was a view there and then I'm going to flip around, get my third view. And flip around and get my fourth view. And then from here, I'm going to pop out of the video and I'm going to go and edit those four pictures because what I want to do is get rid of uh, the excess frame. You are not going to filter it. You're not going to smooth it. You're not going to focus it. It's just about taking it in on the sides. Then from here, this is what I use for the app. This right here is layout from Instagram. There are like a gazillion free collage apps that you can use on your phone. I just really like this one. It's super easy to use. Um, you can just head right into it and then it allows you to pick which pictures that you want. So I'm gonna pick the first four pictures. You can do it anywhere that you want. And then at the top, you could pick which one that you like, manipulate it a little bit and then save it on your phone. Okay guys, so that's going to wrap up this video on how to take our own progress pictures without the help of anybody. <laughs> Listen, I know it's hard. I know it's hard, but it's going to show you some really, really cool changes that you have in your body. I'm going to put a picture right up here that I'm pretty proud of, right? It's a picture um, a little bit into my weight loss, fat loss journey and show some major differences in my back so you can see what the difference is. And I would have never seen that if I had not taken the progress pictures. So, so I'm off my soapbox. You guys go try it. Let me know if you have any questions. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. Make sure you subscribe. Remember sharing is caring. What else? If you guys have any topics that you'd like to hear about, I am wide open because I wanna know what you guys wanna hear about. 
I can ramble about anything, but I want it to be of value to you guys. So if there's anything out there that you guys want, let me know. Oh, and I have something really cool. So we've opened up enrollment for our Get Fit Strong program. When this video comes out, it's probably going to be closed. I'm not quite sure the date on this, but what I'm going to do is go ahead and put the commercial in for it right after this, because even if enrollment is not open at that time, you can get put on the waiting list for the next month when it opens up. You're like, okay, great. Let's get fit strong. So get fit strong is a simple, but highly effective step-by-step -step workout program that you can do from the gym or from home. Cause you know, I feel like us moms and us busy ladies, we have so much stuff that's coming at us. And so if we could just have one thing that was super easy, that just told us what to do and we could do it and then I got you. This is exactly what it is. So anyways, check out, wait for the commercial. Thanks guys. Friends, you asked and I am going to deliver. I am super excited to announce that the Get Fit Strong program is open. <laughs> This is a membership for you guys to get workouts that you all can do at the gym and at home. And it's going to have uh, videos and pictures of the exercises. So it's, you don't even think about it, right? It's super, it's easy, it's quick, it's fast. You go print it out, you do the workout and you're done. And you get a fabulous, happy, healthy body. Man, you don't get any better. But here's the deal, guys. We only got five days for open enrollment. And right now, I do have, um, you know, if you want to get in early, you get special pricing, right? It's like founding members. And as long as you stay in the group, then you can stay at that discounted price. Are you like, okay, girl, stop. Just be quiet and tell me where to go. I'm going to give you guys the link down in the comment. You need to go check it out. It's super cool. I'm going to put a little clip of one of the little videos that's with it. It's a hamstring, um, I don't know. Y'all call it whatever you want. I think I called it hamstring push pull out. But anyways, super excited. Go check it out, guys. It is the Get Fit Strong program. Again, workouts that you can do from home or the gym, and it gives you exactly what to do. So you don't need to think about it. Go check it out, guys.